Last time on Pastors and Ministers Wives, Lady Yolanda Brown and her husband, Pastor Chester Brown, sat down with Life in the Now TV host Nikki Yarbrough to talk about the accident that changed their lives. March 24, 2012, at a little after 3 p.m., the Browns and their youngest son, Chester, were heading west on Orange Avenue in Tallahassee, Florida, when a car on the opposite side lost control, slamming into the Browns and later causing their vehicle to burst into flames. The driver of that car died on the scene. The Browns, while they physically survived the accident, talk more now about the part of their lives that Welcome died to that the day. Life in the Now broadcast. I am here today with Pastor Chester Brown and his lovely wife, mm -hmm. Lady Yolanda Brown. Mm -hmm. We want to continue the show from last week. They're just talking about their life pre the accident, mm -hmm. their life in general. I mean, this has been such an awesome opportunity to have you guys right here mm -hmm. on the on the show. And today, I want you guys to minister to the people about now your life post the accident how you view ministry how you view family your relationship just the newness mm -hmm. of being brought through mm -hmm. everything that you went through well, I, I would say and it is a, a new life mm -hmm. um, one thing that uh, and I, I, I remember a couple of pastors talking here recently mm -hmm. uh, on a talk show um, on 1410 about uh, pastors who have problems with counseling and taking uh -huh. counseling after something traumatic has mm -hmm. happened because uh, we are spiritual oh, and you yeah. know that's not you know I'm fine <laughs> uh -huh. but but my wife um, uh, our son was taking counseling uh -huh. of course from the accident right. uh, because of the emotional exactly. um, uh, impact on mm -hmm. him and we discovered we needed counseling mm. this is interesting awesome. uh, since we all broke because at our first counseling session um, we sat down on a couch, mm -hmm. lady uh, asked one question, and it started us to talking. Uh, we talked, talked, we cried, 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 talked mm -hmm. some more, wow. cried and talked, 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 and this lady said nothing. Mm. Finally, when we finally got to a point to stop talking, these were her words. She said, my God, well, I don't know if the lady was uh, saved, I don't know what <laughs> But okay. here we go. This is, she what she, this, the, this is what she said. Uh -huh. She said, you all are grieving mm -hmm. your old life. That's what she oh. said to us. Those were her words. Mm -hmm. And Yolanda and I looked at each other wow. and we said, you know what? I am. You're right. I, I am. am. Because what we're trying to do, because, because what you find yourself doing <laughs> is trying to get back, back to, to normal. Uh -huh. You know, right. you, you, you're trying to... the old normal. But the first time Yolanda... Uh, drove. And mm -hmm. Of course, I'm I'm so injured. I can't drive. Got a wound back uh -huh. and got uh, injuries internally and so forth. I can't drive, but I'm pushing her. Wow. Baby, come on, cause we got to get back normal. We got, uh -huh. we, you know, we don't. We're not gonna drive down that street that we had the accident. But come on, baby, we're gonna do it uh -huh. because we got to fight and get our lives back. And the mm -hmm. lives we were fighting to get was the old oh life. My gosh. And 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 only to finally understand God is pushing you mm. into a new life. But you're still, you can't see the new life because you're still trying to get back yeah, to, to your old, old life, life, the old life. And, and, and now, now that we've come through uh, some counseling sessions, mm -hmm. we've had a lot of pillow talk, a lot of pillow, a talk. lot of pillow talk, a lot of pillow <laughs> crying and talking. A lot of crying. Um, and, and, and finally now we're, we're starting to say, okay, okay. Oh, wow. We, even to the point, I'm going to tell you the truth, even to the mm -hmm. point to whereas even Yolanda and I mm -hmm. have had to learn each other all over, all over again. Wow. All over again. We, we, we're married this now. Is, we're married now eight years. Mm -hmm. um, November, November 4th, 4th. Oh, wow. is eight years for us. Mm -hmm. And eight being the number of new beginning. That's I just, the card he wrote. He, and you he, know, and I did write it in the card. He sent flowers yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. to, to a job. Uh, and I wrote on the card, uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, this is a new year. Mm -hmm. A beginning, 
and and you know, and I look forward to starting a new beginning with you yeah. because literally, listen, if I was celebrating, but at the same time I was struggling. Uh huh. We were. I was, we, we found out we found ourselves literally struggling because if. If, if a husband and wife who goes through this and God has ordained for us to go through it, mm -hmm. we go through it. But at the same time, if we don't uh, start embracing uh, one another and getting the newness, the newness yes. and learning one another all yes, over yes, yes. a post accident, mm -hmm. you stand a great chance of splitting, separating. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. yes. And just living opposite lives. Yes. We, um, we were like, wow. we, we do our best talking with each other. You know, our, our, we call it our pillow talk time. Right. And mm -hmm. I, I said, I said, it's, I said, something's different. Mm -hmm. I said, something's, I said, something's not right. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. he said, yeah, yeah, it is. And I said, well, and, and the pro the thing is, we, he experienced it one way. Mm -hmm. I experienced mm -hmm. the accident mm -hmm. another way. My son experienced another way. So here are oh three people gosh. in the house right. having their own experience, going through their own thing, uh -huh. trying to heal their own way. And... We're trying to go back to life before March 24th, before 309 of the car accident, and live out that life. I had to learn, this is the new Chester. Yes. Because this accident changed his personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Changed what he liked. Right. Mm -hmm. Changed the way he liked things. Mm -hmm. Changed how he want to move and what he want to do mm -hmm. and what he's going to take and what he's going to say and how he's going to say it. Right. He just became a new person. And likewise did I. Right. I took on the stance of a fight mm -hmm. because of the accident scene, like I told you. Shit. Right. I became a fighter. Exactly. And, so I, I, and, and, mm -hmm. and as you're saying that, let me set this up. Because with me being down mm -hmm. and can't even help myself, oh, wow. I see you. She now becomes commander in chief. Yes. Uh huh. And uh -huh. I did. Right. <laughs> and I didn't know how to let no, it go. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. because yeah. I, I, I had yeah. to, because so many people were yeah. calling. Right. And so many, we had, he had so many mamas and so many cousins and uncles and all these people that claimed him. <laughs> right. You know, I just want to see him. I'm like, he's in ICU. Right. So I had to gather up uh -huh. myself uh -huh. while I'm trying to heal on the sixth floor right. of TMH and say, there's no visitation. He needs to heal. Right. He's vulnerable. And anytime people come in here, he's crying. He's emotional. And I know oh, people want to see yeah. him. And right. I know they care. So I said, we're going to update people on the, from the National of Primitive Baptists right. all the way down to our church members. And I had to gather a family. Um, if it wasn't for my mother mm. who took care of my son, I had my friend girl, Allison, and my husband's good friend, Pastor Derek Smith. They were our publicists. Okay, I need you right. to get right. the message out. Let people know we're okay. Mm -hmm. My sister, take care of our finances. I became a drill sergeant. My God. And I became a fighter. Mm -hmm. So even when he came home, right. I was like, okay, this is how I need you to step out right. the tub. I had it all uh -huh. together. I had it all laid out. Uh -huh. Because I was in charge. Right. And I knew he couldn't do it because right. I'm used to him doing mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. And so once he got on his feet, it was hard for me to so adjust and, right. and go back right. into right. my role right. because I was, I got to protect. I, I got to. I became overbearing. Sure, right. I wanted to make sure everybody was okay. And I was a fighter. Mm -hmm. Don't do this. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about that. No, you know, because I, it was my passion and my care was this love. And I was a fighter because I wanted to protect my family. Right. And so he had to understand because he didn't know. He and I see he drugs up. He, on 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 he said, we're seeing little this? small Chinese people. <laughs> On the back of, you know, some yeah, of you was having Behind the gone. church, there was uh -huh. room, and that's where, I, I, I talk about it later. Really? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. And it's, he was in ICU having just crazy in the and, and then also going through a spiritual warfare. Uh, of his like, own. Oh, of my own. Right. His own. Yeah, yeah. And then our son who was battling with nightmares. Mm -hmm. And so I had to gather and take control of our family right. because right. people were trying to speak for me. They had rumors that my husband had died. And, you know, it's just so yeah. much. It was, it was, it was so, so much. Yeah. So much information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, yeah. I had to become direct. I had to take charge. Right. Because before he was ever mm -hmm. a pastor, he's, he's a husband. husband. Right. And he's a father. Right. Those are the, that's what's important. Mm -hmm. and, Lon, take, First. and take a minute to talk about this, uh, the extent of um, how you knew that I had never, ever, prior to this time, been in a hospital. Right. He, he had never been, I, I, he used to I, joke about been, it all I've the time. Been, and I did. And we did, before the accident. Really? It was like, oh, he's like, I'll probably have to have knee surgury. I was uh, like, I yeah. I said, no, it's going to be something major. Yeah. I guess, you know, really? uh, you know mm -hmm. when if something happens to me, it's going to be something major. Y'all have to give me a heart transplant that. or give me something crazy. Because wow. up to that point, I had been a 
a 35 year old healthy mm -hmm. man. Only time I had uh, a needle was to give blood for my um, physicals. physicals and things of that nature. Right. I never ever had an IV. Mm -hmm. I was always the man on the other side uh -huh. of the bed He's praying taking care for everybody. Me. Right. And, He's taking know, care right, of me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. now, I was in the hospital. Yeah. But he was on that side. And I, when I saw him the day after the accident, mm -hmm. I knew how vulnerable he was. Right. And mm -hmm. number one, when you when you've gone through something that traumatic, and I know people love it, I know they care. You need a minute. You do just to absorb that. Really okay, number one, I saw my I almost lost my mm -hmm, husband in mm -hmm, front of me. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's here in ICU. I need you to give me a rundown of everything that's going on. Wow. I literally had to take control. Where are you taking him for rehab, mm -hmm. and how long is he going to be there? Because he's had multiple surgeries. Right. He developed an infection in his wound. And I found that. The doctors couldn't find it. The doctors couldn't you find it. I, I found the, it. The doctors could not find it. Wow. And this is after And so that's ICU. where the this was after ICU, mm -hmm. after being in the hospital oh on the orthopedic God. floor, mm -hmm. and then uh, now being in rehab, rehab. and already. now running 104 temperatures, yes, uh, and melting ice, ice bags under his arm. It was yeah, crazy. Oh melting bags God. every every hour under my arm, constantly trying to keep my temperature yeah. down. And she Literally went into prayer. I prayed. She I said, God, said, show me. I moved mm -hmm. in in the rehab. I was home. Ooh, okay. I said, I'm, bring me a bed. I'm moving in. She I moved in. That is true. And that tell me when true. we left the rehab, they didn't say bye, Mr. Brown. They said bye, Mr. Brown. <laughs> they were ready for me to go. Praise because God. I, I, you don't know who you're taking care of. I need you to understand. He, he needed. Um, it was just a war wherever we went. We had mm. good nurses and we had some evil oh, nurses. Yeah. Yeah. You know, bad spirits. Mm. And I, I had to be there to safeguard him. Mm. His emotions because he's been through a lot. So, in our pillow talk the other night, I said, Hi. I'm, we did. We, didn't we? Yeah. Said, I, you, he said, I'm, I'm, Well, I'm Chester Brown. He said, And you're Yolanda. You have a child named Chester. We had to get yeah. to know each I other said, wow. because, because of the accident. Get good. to know each other. Yeah. <laughs> we, we started over. And when we Had pledged to. to start over, because mm -hmm. listen, uh, uh, Sister Yarbrough, there are people who say, oh, look at the Browns, they're uh -huh, up, uh -huh. and they look at them, they're moving, they're mm -hmm. out and about, they're doing great. Right, say it. Yeah. Because when we leave the but house. But there's an emotional yes. battle. No, you can't that we're see still, that. Right? See it's that. behind right. our closed doors. Exactly. Our son is still mm -hmm. going through trauma. Right. We're with up nightmares. all kinds of night trying exactly. to deal with that. Exactly. Horrible uh, nightmare. Right. Uh -huh. and, right. And we're both, when we leave the house, even after the accident, even on the benefit program, I'm going to make sure we're together exactly. when we leave. Right. I'll make sure we look on point. Yeah. So people... Yeah. It was a bad perception because people thought, oh, they look great. You know, they're, they're getting well. out. They're, they're, they're doing good. They're praising Physically, God. Right? Yes, we Physically, were. We, we, were. Were. we were. But emotionally, right. we were bad. So you still don't need all of the, okay, uh, all of the visitors, all of the company, mm -hmm. and everybody want to mm -hmm. talk because just because you see me looking good. Right. It doesn't Please mean. give me give me some time. Give mm -hmm. me. We had to absorb that. Yeah. 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 And and so you know people meant well. Mm -hmm. they, they, they they their hearts were well. They they wanted to uh, just check on us and right, see about us. Right. But but it was a mass of people. And at the time, like Yolanda said, we were so vulnerable. Oh, and so really? we had to establish some type of order. Mm -hmm. And right. uh, and she was in charge of all that because I could not do anything for myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I did a good job. She, you did a, you great, did a job. great job. Great, I can tell job. right now. I wasn't there, but <laughs> I can tell you. I'm telling you, God knows. I don't you play with it. Okay. Yeah, most <laughs> Period. Definitely, most definitely. So. And, and even to this day, what is so strange is, of course, the time I was out uh -huh. in the car, mm -hmm. she has to tell me about what took place because I didn't know anything. When I was in ICU, uh, I was so heavily sedated. Mm -hmm. She had to tell me. You know things that took place, mm -hmm. and even uh, um, at night uh, after being in ICU, probably about a week and a half, I now start fighting in warfare. Wow! At night, it always took place from 11 p.m. till 6:30 in the morning. Oh wow! And 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 it, and I was fighting for my mind, mm -hmm. but I tell you, it was horrendous. It was really my horrendous God. time in spirit. Well, spirits, I'm telling you, Pastor. God. I I want to oh. hear more. I'm telling you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave this church tonight, <laughs> you know, but we, we're going to have to take a quick break and we'll come right back. All right.